Hey guys, it's me, Tucker. We met that one time at that party. So I don't know if you know this, but you definitely know this because there's no reason you'd be watching this video if you didn't know this, but I have followers on TikTok. And because that's my main source of income, I have to stay on that app. I don't have the luxury of just deleting it for a mental health day. A lot of my close friends will often text me saying, I'm taking a break from social media for my mental health. And I just envy them so much because Jesus Christ, I spend a lot of time on TikTok. I mostly just watch my own stuff to make sure it's doing well. And because I'm a narcissist, I'll stand in front of the mirror for 20 minutes after I take a shit. I just love looking at me. But I'm also constantly scrolling the For You page. And because of that, I have found some weird stuff. I've whittled it down to three pages that I want to show you today. One of them is silly, one of them is just weird, and the last one is such a mind fuck, I don't know what to do about it. Before we get into the videos, I do want to mention that I think the internet was a mistake. Uh, it is slowly eroding the human experience, and I think at one point it will replace God. And I think these videos are a good example of my mentality. Up first, we have a fun little account called Scary History 22. A modest 25,000 followers. They're doing good and they're grinding. They have so many videos. It's insane. It's really just a bunch of creepy JPEGs with captions in the videos explaining what the JPEGs are. But it does have spooky music in the background and it has a fireplace burning in the back. I, that's not as spooky. A little bit endearing, it makes me feel warm, but I get what they were going for. Halloween costumes from the 1930s. I'll give it to you, those are spooky. Those are spooky Halloween costumes. Children for sale, 1948. Mr. and Mrs. Ray, I can't pronounce that last name, were forced to put their four children up for sale due to financial difficulties. These four children were said to have been abused by their new families. That's, I mean, that's, that is scary. That's more sad than anything. But then they ran out of steam. And I get that. There's only so many scary things from the past. However, instead of just stop posting or posting when they just find something that's spooky, they just post whatever now. For example, my new favorite one, mouse found in grapes. Take in the creepy history, folks. That moment when you catch two sharks at once. Now, that is interesting. Not a creepy history fact. I gotta say. I also hate when memes start with that moment when. Like, this is not relatable. I'm, I'm, I rarely catch sharks, no, nor do I catch two of them. Or this photo of a kangaroo saying, do we let him in or not? Let's, there's no theme anymore. You're running out of steam and I get that, but this has nothing to do with creepy history. We gotta, it's, you gotta stay on brand, pimp. Now this next one is not so silly. This next one bummed me out a little bit, but it was so crazy that I wanted to share it with you guys. It comes from an account called Robert Hamill, and it has less than 1,500 followers, as well as a link in the bio to the page you're currently on. There's only three videos and all of them are off. So the first one is a picture of a lady with a guitar. At the bottom it says ask me a question which looks like it's from Instagram. But at the top there's a TikTok reply thing where he's replying to his own comment and it says okay I love you. You want me to go to Google Hangout? I'm going there now. A little strange. It's like we're in the middle of a conversation but there's no one else in the conversation. But then you go to the comments and things get demonstrably worse. It's comment after comment from him. Just him talking to himself. Are you okay? Are you there? What's up? Put, I want us to get N6 phones together. Ha, I would like both of us getting new phones. Hun, are you still there? I love you. Have you two working? How are you doing? I love you with all my heart. I heart you right now. Send me a text. I can't get you to other sites. So he's like talking to this woman. I just don't think he understands how the internet works. Or I don't know. This is, it's insane. So now we go to the second video, which I will play in its entirety now. So that's, that's pretty much it. And it's more of the same in the comments. I want to see you, hold you every day, and cook for you. Please call me. Please let's talk today. I work on getting us on WhatsApp. I love you so much. Please call me on the phone like a normal day. Please. Ha, I love you. Can you just call me? I am in love with you. But the difference is, the guitar lady, she responded. It's a private account called Dominique Guitar. And it looks... I don't know if it's a bot or not, but he fell in love with it. But it replied to him saying, I love the way you look, baby. And he replied to that saying, I love you. Please don't hurt me. It's just a tragedy unfolding before us. And I'll just go ahead and play the last video for us now. Hi, sweetie. Good night. You know what, I'm not gonna finish, I'm not gonna finish, I'm stopping the video because that's hard to watch, man. Come on, dude. And she comments, baby, why are you doing this to me, dear? And he comments back, I want to give you all the cars and I'm done with this, I don't know. It's like looking into mental illness and it's affecting me deeply. Robert Hamill, if you're out there, I wish you the best of luck. That's a tough one. And you need to be a little bit more private with your obsessions with robots or real people. I don't know, I don't know, I, I can't figure out the backstory on this. Now on to our main course. 
uh, this account I found on a whim late at night. And it's a weird combination of like clickbait slash social experiment slash it feels illegal. I don't know what the hell's going on. The username is unreadable, but they have 500,000 followers. Mind you, I found this account two weeks ago with 20,000 followers. So something is happening. So I'm gonna try and explain this account as best I can. They make fake videos. And by fake videos, I mean they hire actors to create fake scenarios that would be interesting if they were real. Now this is nothing new. A lot of TikTok creators fake pranks or they fake, you know, arguments or whatever the hell they gotta do. However, this account seems to have sets, like film sets, as well as multiple different actors. So they are, they have a bankroll. They're hiring people and set designers. So let's just delve into whatever I can find on here. So the first one I wanna talk about is this nun going through an x-ray machine. So first of all, clearly not an airport, clearly not a real TSA worker, clearly not a real nun, but uh, what's the point of making this? What is the outcome? What is the cost benefit analysis? And it's like a two minute long video of this lady going through, taking off her bra, taking off, you know, giving her a Bible out of her shirt, all this weird shit, and then it ends with nothing. It's just, it's just that. 6,000 likes though. The fuck is going on? And they also have the tendency to post the same sketch or skit or I don't know what the fuck it is over several different videos. If you finish that nun video, go to the next one. It's the same nun story. However, we get to the point where she is now stripped of her nunnery, but she's wearing fake boobs. Why is she wearing fake boobs? And then she has a bunch of money and then the lady takes her money and then they say next and that's the end of the sketch. Don't know if this is supposed to be comedy or not. And there is just a million of these things. There's one on an airplane where the stewardesses are like robbing a sleeping guy and one of them is wearing a mask and it's obviously not a real airplane so they have money to fake an airplane. There's like a fake military coming home video with a mom in a hospital bed but it's a set once again. And mind you, these are all different actors. They're finding different people for every video. Who are these people? Who's hiring them? But then if you scroll down far enough, you'll see that a lot of their content is one of those dumb fucking things that people on TikTok do, where they have a clip of something that they don't own, like not even close, that's like probably SNL or something. And then at the bottom, it's like some kind of ASMR bullshit. So they get away with it because copyright, well, I don't know how it works. But yeah, I don't know. I guess they made enough money stealing other people's content where they could fund their own studio and just make wild, crazy shit. I implore you to go check out this account. I'll give them the attention. I'll give them the free publicity. It's not like this video is gonna make a fucking difference, but Jesus Christ, what the fuck's going on? All right, guys. That's about as much as I can stomach tonight. I uh, I need to take a mental health break. Sorry for the delay on making uh, YouTube videos. I just, I don't know what to do on this fucking channel. I don't. Do you like my Ryan McGee merch? Please notice me, senpai. I'm not gonna bring my cat in because she is sleeping. I don't wanna bother her. That'd be a piece of shit move to abuse her for likes. I'm not gonna do that. I actually was gonna do that. I was gonna go pick up my cat, but she, she was wet. I don't know why she's wet, so I gotta go figure that out. If you made it this far in the video, you should like it, because fuck you, you watched the whole thing. Make sure to comment your favorite thing about me and this video. It's a very important to me that I can read positive things every minute of every day, or I will break down and subscribe and ring the notification bell, I guess. I hate doing this. I hate asking people to do things. Thank you for watching.